I like small changes with a big impact, but it has to be an impact that I can see in my lifetime. I want to make this point so that if there's anyone like me out there, that this is a program that accommodates all types. Pediatric Hemong Fellowship has been in existence for a long time. Our program is very focused on really get to know each trainee as an individual to find out what makes them tick and then to actually create an environment that is unique to their interest and future pursuit and to pair them up with potential mentors and, and research opportunities and clinical experiences to further their training in those specific areas. I ended up in a place, Rainbow Babies and Children's, that is better than I could have imagined. From my interview until today, I have been warmly welcomed. They are very available. I can go and knock on the door of this big person that is not mandate. They don't have to reply to you. They do, they do it. They are there for you. Keeping it intimate is one of the advantages because then the fellows who feel like they have the individual attention you know, of, of a particular attending or clinic without having to compete. He monk is something else. First year is other work. Like you learn like never in your life. Never in your life. It's amazing. You feel like you're the doctor and you actually go talk to them. They they engage with you. So which friends have you heard from? I talk to my best friends. Do they know everything that's going on with you? And they're there for you, huh? Your friends are so important at that time in your life, right, at, at your age. So you can reach out to them and let them be there for you. I think it helps. The kids I'm seeing are all ages, you know, two years old, 23 years old, 18. And it's something that none of us can explain, why they have this illness. Already, in a short time, I lost a patient I was caring for. And this girl is the same age as my own daughter. And I really tried to connect to this patient. What really was powerful to me was how much we connected to her family. Every day you have to wake up and think, I'm doing this, and why I'm doing this, and it's because of the patients. Once in a while you forget, you forget why you're here. And I think once in a while it's very important to remind people, you know, this, this is, this is a, a difficult profession. You gotta be in it for the right reason. And we'll help you. It is a very stressful situation no matter how you look at it. My goal is to actually train somebody who eventually will take over my job. And uh, if I can do that, I've succeeded. One of the areas I'm focused on is transition. They are the highest risk of mortality. University Hospitals is unique in the fact that they have both adult and pediatric sickle cell programs on one campus. And so that's all I might start with my present a little cake and I might say, I'll see you on the other side, yeah. There are many opportunities to learn and to discover. Time is ticking, and the faster we can get things done, the more children's lives will be saved. We want to train you to be the trendsetter. We don't want you to just follow the trend. I go up and down the hallway here, and there's beauty and tragedy in each room. And it's the human story, and it's the medical story, and it's incredibly compelling. This is not a job, it's a calling. It's a privilege to be able to say, I'm so-and-so's doctor, because the family put all their trust in you. Who touch lives, who do what they do, with passion and with excellence. Whatever you do, you always think for the best of your patients and be their strongest advocate. And if you can do that, you'll be a great pediatric oncologist and hematologist. That's all.